Hi there, Leos. Thanks so much for tuning in. I'm Astro Girl, and we're looking at March 2nd through March 8th. Keeping in mind, as I told you last week, Mars, the planet of passion, and Venus, the goddess of love and romance, are in Aries. And they're going to be in Aries for the next month or so, which, of course, is your fire cousin and your ninth house of long-distance travel, long-distance relationships. So for those of you who are involved in a long-distance relationship, and you know, really missing their other half, it's a great time for you to be spontaneous, to book a trip or to fly your other half out here. It's also a good time for you to do some long, hard thinking about the future of the relationship. Sometimes it gets very, very difficult if you're on opposite sides of the world from the person that you love. And being faithful and not giving in to temptation can get very difficult and it's going to be especially difficult with Venus and Mars in Aries because Mars is at home and very strong and very sexual in Aries so you may find that you're tempted now if you're tempted that may lead you to think that you're ready to stray or that you you know you're not faithful or you know could upset you in some way look at it this way Leo you're human so, you know, if you are thinking of your long distance relationship and coming to the realization that, you know, as much as you love the person you're in the long distance relationship with, it's not working for you, you have to make some decisions and plans so that, you know, by the time Jupiter moves forward in your sign in April and the time Jupiter leaves your sign in August, you have set yourself up to be happier and to be more fulfilled because if you're not happy and that's the reason there is an answer to be had now there's a full moon this weekend in Pisces Pisces being the most creative sign the sign that you know a lot of artists and musicians are born under the sign of Pisces a lot of actors and a lot of people involved in the health industry a lot of healers a lot of psychics a lot of people who do a lot of charity work are born under the sign of Pisces. And for you, this is going to be transiting your eighth house of joint investments and intimacy. So if you feel that you and your other half are having not only financial issues but intimacy issues, this is definitely something to recognize understand and start talking about because without a conversation about the way you're feeling you'll never get resolution and you know someone has to start the the dialogue and it may as well be you leos have a great week great speaking to you and i'll speak to you again next week